Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dark Souls 3. Jumping straight over 1 and 2 and straight into the latest title because I am a sellout motherfucker. This game is somewhat tough to some individuals. Not your average fluffy buns and sunflowers kind of game, as denoted by The Dark in Dark Souls 3. Truly, the Dark Souls of Dark Souls. We will be venturing forth into this gothic adventure action realm to claim something for plot I do not know, for this is a blind playthrough. I am your host, the Super Blue Badger, and today we will be here to murder a bitch or two. I hope you are ready. If you are unfamiliar with the titles, they are known for being somewhat challenging. They are also known for being completely ridiculous and full of variety. One of my favorite video game series of all time. I could not tell you how many countries I have flooded with salt over this demeaning, demoralizing, and punishing game. How I love it so. But enough with my uh, useless rhetoric, let's move on. Yes, indeed. It is called Lothric, where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. Inventory okay, North I've got several suggestions to make this easier on you. The pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. No, I think they're discovering the uh, the truth of their stamina. The fire fades, and the lords go without thrones. Yeah, you probably should have listened to me from the get-go. How's that sand taste, lady? Thing. When the link of fire is threatened, the bell tolls, unearthing the old lords of Cinder from their graves. Aldrich, saint of the deep. Alternatively, me on a Monday morning. Yes, that's me. Farron's undead legion, the Abyss Watchers. What they don't tell you in the Abyss Watchers is that watching the Abyss is actually really fucking boring. And the reclusive lord of the profaned capital. The, the giant part of your name's a bit redundant, don't you think? It disagrees. Only in truth, the lords will abandon their thrones. Ah, oh, sweet, finally got one of those new VR headsets. And the unkindled will rise. Nameless, accursed, undead. Unfit even to be Cinder. And so it is. That Ash. Welcome to the unceremonious character selection screen. 
of which I will be spending several minutes to uh, decide what our character will be looking like for this playthrough. Not that it will matter much, for we'll probably be wearing a helmet for most of the game. However, I have already decided my class in advance. We shall be playing the Cunning Thief with luck, dexterity, and whatever else. One of my uh, good friends, Crazy Mike 1991, told me that the thief is potentially one of the harder classes to play. And in good fashion, the badger doesn't step down from a challenge, so thief it will be. The scruffy rogue that is badger. And I'm not quite sure what gift to really obtain ourselves with. Uh, I don't think we're ever really going to be using fire weapons. Oh, God. Life rings I've never bothered with, ever. Uh, let's have a see here. We'll take this sovereignless soul. I don't know how many souls it will give me, but frankly, I don't quite give a damn. This is a blind playthrough. I'll make things that are unoptimal. I'm not going to treat this like, oh my god. I have to put every point in the exact right place, or fuck me, this run is worthless. No, this this will be for fun. Dark Souls, you say? For fun? Who do you think you are? I think I am very burly. The Burly Rogue. As for what our name will be, I'm not quite... Ah! Oh my god, I'm like a prune! And the only thing that really changes is the sagginess of my man tits! Ugh. Ugh. I don't like playing... I, I like mixing up with a bit of, you know, age to my character. However, looking like a dried fruit doesn't really fulfill me with a sense of adventure. <laughs> Whoa, that was a pretty porno voice there. Yep, yeah. someone's getting in the butt. Yep, yeah, that, that's some butt noises. We're going with that butt noise. Standard or thick? They should have just said yes or no. Average body hair, where exactly? I am not seeing a speck of hair on this bloody man's body. Did he go in for the wax treatment before he came into the game? Maybe it's one of those, you know, bikini waxes. But obviously he's not wearing the top part. God help me if we take off his trousers. Ugh. For a little bit of variety, a bit of chest hair won't kill us. Muscular? Nah, we're standard. Give me one moment while I, uh, attempt to, uh, beautify this burlesque individual. Yes. Handsome. Chiseled. And also, a, f a bit of a motif to my old World of Warcraft rogue back in the day, when I was still a filthy fucking addict to Warcraft. My old Dr. K, that's what I called him, because he was the rogue that had the cure to what ails you. The answer was always daggers. Always. What with mutton chops and bald head in tow, he was the luckiest, pluckiest rogue on the market. And soon, he'll be the luckiest, pluckiest rogue of Dark Souls. What will we call this young man? We'll call him... The Stabinate. Mm, no, too, too, too on the nose. Um. Um. Okay. We'll call him Thug Hard Milk. Yes. Truly a name for the modern age delinquent. Onward. Oh boy, they told me I was going to be an extra in some thriller music video. I 
guys! I'm ready! Guys! Guys! Oh man. I'm alone again. Motherfucker. This is a goofy looking helmet, but I kind of like it. We wake up on a very pale and grim setting. Brick. Twisted trees. It almost feels as though the very fabric of reality is against us. Ignoring the uh, silly tutorial messages, I am a pro of Dark Souls, as I will demonstrate on our fine young contestant. Hey! <laughs> okay, so that was just a, a test. Not indicative of the final product at all. Totally have this. We had appeared to be some, near some sort of fortress, sire. Oh, what would that bring us? What is in the fortress? Perhaps it is not made to keep us out, sire, but to keep something in. By Jove's, that is the craziest thing I've heard all week. Okay. Come on, let's see if I got my parry skills. Come on. Let me be cool for the YouTube audience. Yes! Oh, right in the dick. Ugh, that's where I aim. Whew. Satisfying. Oh, I have a bow too. Nice. An Ashen Estus flask. Whatever could that do? Not quite sure. However, I have a dagger. And if daggers have taught me anything, they're made for inserting people, you know, inserting into people. Like a debit card. Would you like a receipt for that, sir? I mean, I've got one right here. I say as I flip him the bird. Well, it appears some strange gentleman is firing arrows at us. I have to say, that is irrevocably impolite! Unfortunately, they don't teach manners these days in the school of hard knocks. Why did I ask this flask? Why was I born? No one really knows. Hello, sire! Hmm. The parrying feels a lot looser in this game. More souls collected. The debt will be eroded. The debt of murder. Come on, really? I might have to start getting serious. Yeah, your augers will fetch a, fetch a good price. Especially that leg, so limber. Oh yes, got to get this leg to the uh, to the black market dealer before the rigor mortis sets in. Just the single leg will do. But first, I've got to find the black market dealer. Turn back. I say nay, sir. The badger has never turned away from a chal... Hmm... A a yes, a challenge. Challenge of epic purport. You know what, today he lives to see another day. Never mind. I have uh, made an executive decision to ignore my own stupid ass opinions. For safety. Safety purposes, yes. Truly isn't one's health the true reward? For one, leaving one's butthole unsundered. Is that not tr the true gift? Hmm. On the underlip of a mighty fortress that dwarfs even the greatest mountains. But... 
you know what? These mountains of video games are getting more realistic. For you see, they give me absolutely no incentive to ever want to fucking climb one. Because why? I could be inside playing video games. Ooh. That looks like a place to... Uh, okay. See you next episode, everyone!